are on our national adventure. Allison, Andrew, Kiara, Carolina, and Chloe. A tiny home. Granted, we lived in an RV for the last year and a half, but actually living in a tiny home is something totally different. I see pillows. Pillows? And I see a little window. Oh, this one's cool. definitely going to be my bed. So first thoughts on this tiny house. This is the first tiny house that we've ever been in. It's just 25 miles, 25 minutes outside, just south of Chattanooga across the Georgia border. Just go up Lookout Road, you pass Rock City and head about eight miles south into Georgia. And it's right here on the side of the cliff. Plenty of places for families to sleep. You can sit three on top on one side, maybe two on top on the other, one on the couch and one underneath in the little cubby hole. Kids love it here. There's enough space for us to just to wind down and relax after walking around Chattanooga for the day and to get up and go see Ruby Falls and Rock City tomorrow. Wow. This one is definitely on my bed. Look at that up there. So there's a loft space up above. I want to check that out. Looks nice though, doesn't it? So there's two loft beds in here. There's one if you come in to the left and you go up, that's probably the bigger of the two that looks like a full to maybe queen size bed that could probably fit two, maybe three. Kiara's probably gonna be sleeping up here in her own loft that looks just a little bit bigger than a twin. And I'm probably gonna be sleeping on the couch. Barely long enough. But uh, I don't think that I could trust a kid sleeping up here because they could roll over this edge. I don't know, it feels kind of comfy. I could do it. Oh, oh. Sprinkles. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, pretty cool. And there's a fridge. We gotta bring I our food in. This is like as big of a fridge as our RV. I get you so nice. Two, one, go. Oh, what? Cool. Push, push, pull, 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 pull. just got in and we're gonna get everything all situated. We've got some spaghetti as well as some sauce we're making. We bought some sausage and onions and bell pepper. We're gonna whip it up with some tomatoes and make a little sauce and um, have it over our spaghetti. <laughs> it's getting loud, it's getting cramped, but we're all finding little places to sort of get cozy into. Um, the girls have found some coloring pads and they've found some crayons and cool stuff like that. They're also finding their beds for the night and getting cozy, putting their stuffed animals and their their blankets into place. <laughs> Chloe's really afraid of bugs. No, bug, bug. Yes, hey, bug. Hey, bug. Oh, I see my bug. No, the bug won't give you an ouchie, honey. It's okay. I think there's a bug, even though there's not a bug. There's no bug. Do you think that there's a bug, Chloe? No, no, I see bugs. You see oh, bugs? bugs. One more bug. Oh, we're finding out real quick that this place is so similar to being in an RV, but what's not similar is that there's actually a lot less space than when we were in our RV. When we were in our RV, like we had it, I think our living room was about as big as this tiny home. 
no kidding. And <laughs> it just felt like there was more space, which there was on either side. So we are noticing that while a tiny home, it's probably the size of an RV without the slides. I think in an RV, a fifth wheel, you've got slides that pop out, which give you that extra space. In a tiny home, you do not. So it's a lot less than we're used to for small homes. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> We're all headed outside to eat on our deck and just enjoy the extremely amazing view that we've got here. You can hear the choo-choo that we went and visited earlier today. You can hear the train in the very, very, very faint distance and the sun and the haze. It's like a fairy tale and it's so beautiful. <laughs> It's time to say good night. Good night, Carolina. Good night, Mama. Good night. Good morning. Good morning, Chloe. Wake up. I thought it was going to be a Great day, but it's a bad day. Well, you have just woken up. Yeah. My box! What's that? You see bugs? Oh, oh yeah, more bugs. This place has poor airflow. There's no curtains to let us sleep the way we need to sleep. And this ladder creeps. <laughs> and I almost felt like I was going to break it. So, have a good day, sir. How'd you sleep up there? Oh, no comments. <laughs> nice and I rested? Say, this place <laughs> is a cute place by design and probably for people who don't have little kids. But for people with little kids, I'd have to say, go find somewhere else. <laughs> There's not anything against the way that this place is set up because it's super cute, but... I don't know where you expect little kids to actually to actually sleep, so. I slept on the couch. Carolina slept in there. there. Mom and Chloe slept up there. Hi, Chloe. Good morning. We slept up there last night. Carolina slept here. Kara slept here. Mm -hmm. Andrew slept up there. Yeah. Carolina slept in there last night. Carolina, were you cozy in there last night? I don't know. <laughs> I was snorting and I was and I was waking up and turning in. Everyone woke me up. Everyone kept tossing and making noise last night. Uh huh. Did you hear people on the stairs above you last night? Yeah. Did they you, made me cranky. <laughs> Did you hear everybody waking up because they couldn't sleep because of the light? Yeah. Oh, yeah that was definitely me. I was very cranky. Oh, yeah. She had to put a pillow on her window right by her. Because the sunlight was in her face? Mm -hmm. No. I could have. I woke up like twice. I had to go to the bathroom and then I had. And then. And then I needed my moshi. Because so. it was cold? Yeah. And it was also very cold. My sleeping bag did not hold anything. But I asked for my mom's blanket. And she gave it to me. Well, there's another Meanwhile, place. I slept without a blanket. <laughs> and a two-year-old sprawled out like Superman. <laughs> clinging desperately to the side of the, the bed so he would fall smack into the kitchen. Yeah, we had a real good night last night. <laughs> Thank you.
it's definitely going to be a slow morning. So because my mom's drinking tea, my dad's relaxing, I get the camera. Mm -hmm. So let's see what everybody's up to. What are you up to, Carolina? I am looking. I am finding our house. Do you see it out there? House. Our house is really far away. If you guys know, if you guys know how far our house is away, tell us in the comments below. Chloe, what are you up to? I don't know. Ooh. I, I know. <laughs> Ooh, that's funny. So what does that mean? We have to flip it. Oh! No, 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 come over here. Okay. You're gonna try to flip it? Perfect! It's a perfect pancake! I'm gonna flip the pancake. Mom, can I have the flipper? Yeah. I'm gonna wait. This is, this is a very big pancake. I think the first one I'm gonna, and I made is gonna be, is gonna be mine. I think this one's gonna be mom or dad's. Uh. <laughs> or yours. No, I'm having the smallest one. we all woke up a little tired um, the sky <laughs> definitely will wake you up right as the sun's coming up the windows here <laughs> the windows here uh, have no curtains on them so we woke up the second the Sun did and um, we didn't get really great sleep here last night there's room for us all I mean there's two beds one on either side above and then there's like two little couch beds so there's definitely room but uh, for some reason this is not like sleeping in an RV it was very different and maybe it's because um, we have kids and this is just not like a kid place potentially maybe but um, it has not been the most comfortable place that we've ever stayed I will say that it is super cute <laughs> and the views are incredible but um yeah not the most comfortable We'll say this as we're packing up, getting ready to leave. I think that this is really suitable for younger couples or couples with maybe one kid or maybe kids who are a little bit older. But for little kids, I don't think that this was practical for us, but it was a great experience to have one time. We're cleaning up. It's been an awesome time here, but it's definitely time to hit the road. Join us next week as we explore Rock City and Ruby Falls. Make sure to hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.